Hello and welcome back to Jenna Gets Creative. Today we are doing the October Colors of the Month Challenge and we are also fulfilling Inktober Day 8 Prompt Watch. If you're not familiar with the Colors of the Month Challenge, this is a limited palette challenge issued by Marker Universe every single month. You have the whole month to do it. You can match the colors that they have prescribed in any medium you wish, including digital. And you can use all four colors in the palette, or you can go more limited, whatever you choose. The rules are use only the colors they have prescribed, plus black and white. You can mix, you can blend, and dilute, whatever you wish. Just don't add other colors. I am going to tell you about the colors that they have prescribed for the month, and I'm going to tell you what they have offered on their actual shop page. They are a marker seller, so they are going to try to sell you different products. I'm just going to mention them so that if you have these particular markers, you know which colors to use. Or maybe it just helps you match the colors better in your other supplies. I am not affiliated with Marker Universe, they do not pay me, I just really like doing this challenge and I think it is helpful to know some different brand color names so that you have a better idea of what you're matching. For the prompt watch, honestly I already drew something related to a literal object watch for day one so I didn't want to go again with a watch and this palette really gives me an outdoorsy, woodsy, maybe even hunting vibe. Honestly it's, it's a camouflage palette which disappoints me. It's October, it should be a Halloween palette, right? <laughs> I also really don't want to go specifically hunting in my artwork because I think that might offend like half of my audience. So for the prompt watch and this palette, what I have decided to go for is I am drawing a Weimar pointer. This is a German short-haired pointer breed. They are a bird dog. They can be used for hunting. They will instinctively stop and do this kind of pose, this point, hence the pointer name. When they see their target, the bird that their owner might be hunting. So we've got a pointer who is watching. There's the prompt and pointing. You can decide for yourself if the dog is just doing what the dog is bred to do or if the dog is being used for a hunting activity. You decide. I'm not going to specify. And by the way, yes, I know I am doing this entirely in watercolor techniques and these are called watercolor markers. They are ink. They are a water soluble ink. They will reactivate, but they are ink. So it is still fair game for Inktober. And either way, regardless of how strict you want to be with your definition of ink for Inktober, this is still being done in the spirit of Inktober following an Inktober prompt. By the way, if you're new here, hi, my name is Jenna. I am a freelance editor and illustrator in Newfoundland, Canada. I run a daily posting book review and book promotion blog, and twice a week I upload here on YouTube. Day one is either Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on that week's schedule. Day two is always Friday. Mostly it's art content, sometimes it's book-related chatting, and sometimes it's both. If that sounds good to you, consider sticking around. And if everybody watching could help me out, hit like, leave a comment. All those great things help me appease the YouTube algorithm overlord so that more people can see this video and join us. All right, so the official colors that have been suggested, we have hex code 90A472. They're calling it Moss. If you look it up on other websites, it may have a different moniker. The official Karen Brush Marker Pro shade that is recommended for this one is Olive Green number 281. I will be using my Karen Brush Marker products for all of these colors. That's what I got the set for to do the colors of the month challenge on a monthly basis. The other product suggestions for this color are Tombow Dual Brush Pen Art Marker 126 Light Olive, Karen Pigment Deco Brush Olive Green 371U, and Sketch Marker, either the Brush Pro Alcohol Marker or the Alcohol Ink Refill in G51 Jade. They're not recommending a huge variety of products for this month. I expect that means that they're low on stock on things that would match this. Color two is B1A86A. They're calling it dry leaf. And the official Karen suggestion is Curry 297. Their other suggestions are Tombow Dual Brush Pen Art Marker 228 Gray Green, Karen Pigment Deco Brush Lime Green 397U, and sketch marker, either the Brush Pro Alcohol Marker or the Alcohol Ink Refill, G41 Moss. Color number three is E7AC55. 
pumpkin. The official carrying marker is pale orange 357. The other suggestions are carrying pigment deco brush gold 109U, Tombow dual brush pen art marker 993 chrome orange, sketch marker brush pro alcohol marker or alcohol refill ink 083 Naples yellow. And the fourth color is 8D897F twig. The official Karen suggestion is warm gray number three, which is marker 276. The other suggestions are Karen Pigment Deco Brush Cool Gray 2 428U, Tombow Dual Brush Pen Art Marker N79 Warm Gray 2, and Sketch Marker Brush Pro Alcohol Marker or Alcohol Refill Ink in NG5 Neutral Gray 5. really love working with watercolor markers. Primarily, I am using the technique of scribbling them down on a non-absorbent surface like a ceramic plate and picking it up with a wet brush and using it as watercolor. But you can also use the pens directly on the paper. Typically, that's done if you're doing something like calligraphy or hand lettering. But in an art piece like this, you might do it at the end or even at the very beginning to add some super saturated shading, some really focal points, that kind of thing, those kind of fun details. I do find that these have a bit of a learning curve. It's definitely easier to accidentally reactivate layers that you put down that you didn't intend to. The first few months that I was doing this challenge with these markers, I definitely got a lot of muddy accidents happening, but sometimes it also works out really well. Tell me what you did for either the Colors of the Month challenge or Inktober Day 8. I would love to see your work. Tell me where I can find it. Don't forget to go looking for my other Inktober shorts this weekend, previous days, rest of the month, all throughout October, and I will see you next week. If you're looking for more to watch, I've got some suggestions up on the left side of the screen now. Don't forget to like, comment, maybe even subscribe, and if you like Living Life Creatively, whatever that means to you, I'd love to have you along for the ride. Bye guys! Oh,